Welcome to Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host, Ben, and it's time for some God's Unchained Weekend Rank Gameplay. So, I've already played most of my games, really dropped from last weekend, where I started in Diamond, got into Mythic, and then throughout this week I've been experimenting and end up letting letting myself down in midnight shadow so that's where I started this at I've gotten seven wins so far my death deck my Nubian heirloom death that uh, I tested quite a bit that got me into diamond last weekend and uh, into mythic is not been testing as well as it was so I don't know if it's a shift in the meta so I've been Doing quite a bit of experimenting. You find this deck just by searching Framework Fortune. And if you see anything in here that you think should come out or something that maybe I should add in to make it better, let me know down in the comments below. So I've got a couple of different decks that I've been testing besides that. Wild Nature deck, which actually has performed pretty decently. Four of five needs uh, needs some changes. I made a few. We'll see if those work out. Then I test some magic that hasn't done too well. So I plan on playing each one of these decks uh, in this video here, including this new Anubian Afterlife creation, which we're going to start with. And this is going to be a very interesting deck, I believe. I also am almost to level 650 to a legendary pack, so that'll be interesting. We'll see what I pull out of that pack. If it's anything good or if it is trash. Alright, so definitely starting out with the Blood Ritual. Going against the Nature deck here. Uh, okay, we're going to wait wait on those we'll keep this hand I like this hand does have the basic Anubian one mana package that can do a lot of damage so actually when I'm going first against any deck that's aggressive normally I like to just go ahead and get aggressive first against them kind of throw them off Ooh. So here I'm just going to go ahead and take out this bug here. Get a little damage in from the Necromancer and the Vile Reaver leaving the board. Getting a little 3 damage start. If he doesn't kill the Necromancer, which he probably will, with Selena's Mark. Oh, maybe not. Ooh, that might have been a misplay for him. Because now I can get frenzied on this next turn. With this cursed obelisk. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and put it out there and get it started. It's going to give us a nice jump on the board here. Very strong jump. Okay, so he threw out these old blade flies which really aren't going to be that much of a problem i think we can take most of them out i do want a frenzy here i am going to sacrifice that necromancer to trigger that one a little bit more damage might as well go ahead and play the brimstone do some more damage to him keeping that pressure and then we got a full board again and that's the idea pretty much of this deck just do constant damage constant board control and keep the pressure that's a garbage card as a genesis card but somebody's gonna have to convince me otherwise that this is not a garbage card I mean, I guess maybe in wild decks where you get five creatures out uh, and maybe like I've got all these creatures out. Eh, I don't know. Definitely want to take this out. 
So this is what we're going to do here. Eat that guy on up there. Now I could... Mm, he may have a nefarious pry though. I don't think that's a good idea. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and throw out this hidden tomb robber. Three mana and newbie. And this is a Genesis card. Hidden for one turn after life. Add a random random enchanted weapon or rune to your hand. If you control another newbie and add two instead. So we do have two. We do have that other newbie and out. That can help with uh, some card draws here. I am running the Gleam Weaver at a one of in case I run into any mirror matches of a newbie index. Get rid of either the Necromancers or the Priests of Tkat. He's got a little bit more bored than me right now, but we got pretty good control of this game. Yeah, he's not going to be able to kill the Obelisk, so that's going to stay out. He hasn't even done any damage to me. So, let's go ahead and actually, I want to frenzy again. So, I'm going to use her to frenzy. And then we'll put him out as another Anubian. Let's see, it's afterlife. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and use the living container to destroy her. Which when she comes back she'll be buffed. And there we go. Nice. Very nice. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab. I'm just going to grab this wand. Just to have it so he doesn't get it. Yeah, I got a protected animal and a rune of fire off of that move. And then we'll be able to do it again once she comes back from the living container dying. So I want to get real interesting here. Focusing on trying to get to this cursed obelisk is a bad idea. Look, just killed the living container. We're back there. She's hidden three. Three, four, very nice. Ooh, that's going to give... Ooh, <laughs> I gave the cur Cursed Obelisk to attack. Very nice. So now we have, like, besides the zombies, we have some afterlife in here. Especially if she dies again. If I run into... I forget what the card is. It's a Genesis card, but he triggers afterlife. Okay, so I don't think we have anything but those two. Oh, we do have. Oh, okay, good. We do have three. So let's go ahead and use this reach into the black. We'll be able to get rid of this uh, bad boy here. And that's going to do some damage because she was a newbie and leaving. Now I've got all types of weapons. I think I'm going to use this. Go ahead and frenzy. And yeah, we'll just hold there. That's pretty good. Still still got full control of the board. Still just pre keeping that pressure and pushing that damage. Got a handful of options. That was a smart move, getting rid of the Necromancer. Again, though, trying to get to that uh, Cursed Obelisk instead of focusing on doing damage to me. This is pretty much over at this point. Mm, there's a Priestess. We'll go ahead and throw her out. And then this thing's got blitz, so we'll take out him. Frenzy with the one fellow there. 
And then I don't mind to take that blitz because the afterlife of this weapon is his healer got three, so I have that for another turn. Might as well grab the Nightleaf Trapper to keep him from using that against me. And then, yeah, I think we should throw out the Protected Atom there. It's pretty good, pretty good set, and two more zombies, so. Not a whole lot, I think, this fellow's going to be able to do to come back at this point. Yeah, that ain't going to matter, given the old broccoli tree head there, the marsh walker. Oh, wow, and a gorilla training. Okay, well, he's going to try to come back quick, but that's way too late for all that. Still got all everything else here on the board. I don't even... Yeah, I'll probably take out some of his board. Took that protection off. That's not a big deal. I don't care about that. Alright. So... I think the best thing to do is... Mmm... Let's just go ahead and take this out. And then we'll hit that, which should be the, well, nice. Buff that one. That five attack will kill that one with the relic. We still got seven mana left. Uh, might as well throw that on. And we will get frenzied there. And throw it down on a Cumber Looter. That'll be five. Actually, let's throw down both the Cumber Looters. Both of them have that afterlife to draw a card, so. Another afterlife creature, even though it's not death. Yeah, just a solid card all the way around. Nice. He finally got rid of that obelisk. <laughs> But I got a full board here, so. And about to draw more cards. So Blight Bomb, very nice. Might as well go ahead and use that. Take. Get that out of the way. I'm gonna sack one of these. Actually, I could just eat it. Well, first, let's attack with it, and then let's eat it. Yeah, let's go ahead and eat it. Looking for something. That's another good choice. Use that living container. Take out that one. Draw another card. And there's Neferu. That'll be the game ender on the next turn. And I think that's good enough. We'll just go with that. Oh. Got a little glitch there. Okay, there it goes. See how bad a luck he has. Okay, he didn't hit the uh, living container. That would have been pretty funny. He's buffing. It's just way too late. Way too late getting those strong creatures out. He was able to. Well, still doesn't matter. You see that? Look at bringing that encumbered looter back at a 4-3 so I've got it I've got it to kill him on the board I didn't even need Neferu beautiful yep and there's the scoop that's what I like to see so that's the first time I've played a variation of a Nubian like this with all his afterlife I gotta say, that was, that was pretty good. Alright, we're almost to that legendary pack. Let's go ahead and hop in here. Run it again. See if we get consistent results from it. See if we can pull out another win. I did get that cursed obelisk out early. And it took a long time. Pretty much 
the whole entire game before he could get it off the board. So other decks can remove that pretty easily. And I don't know if that was, you know, the main factor of winning that game. So there's games where we're not going to draw that or have the access to it. But looks like we've got it again in this game, so might as well roll with it. Yeah, we'll just start out with, well, actually, he'll just kill that with his power. Eh, that's fine. I don't know. Actually, I'm going to go ahead with the Encumbered Looter. Because it's going to be hidden. And then I can drop the next one. Then drop the Cursed Obelisk. Need to see what type of Deception deck I'm playing. Because there are some that can steal that Cursed Obelisk. Oh, this is nice right here. Getting the Priestess of Takat. Go ahead and get rid of that guy do some damage there and then start this game out nice four damage lead nice gonna let me draw a card here this is gonna be funny if his pig misses oh and his pig missed oh no oh that's awful for him now the obelisk is coming out I actually don't know if I want to put the obelisk out. And yeah, let's go ahead and do it. If he takes it, he takes it. Whatever. I really don't. We're like three mana in, and he's not really played anything but this hog, so. Oh, you got very lucky. Good for you. That hog actually hitting the priestess. Oh, sweet. We can take that out right away with this Blight Bomb. Maybe. Yeah, we're taking that out right away. That is not staying on the board. You can go ahead and take that off of there. And yeah, I might as well go with another Encumber Looter. Get some more damage with the zombies and spawn more zombies. So again... <laughs> This game is getting off to a pretty bad start for my opponent. They're down 8 already. And I've got a full board. Now next turn, they could Rapture Dance. Or they, well this turn they could do that. That certainly would uh, make somewhat of a difference. So I know he's going to Rapture Dance next more than likely. So let's just load the board with with stuff that we can afford to get rid of Let's see oh actually can't rupture rapture dance this turn what is that you turn if this creature has the most strength give it one one so that thing's gonna buff Yeah, we got to take that out. Which we should, we can do pretty easily here. Oh, there we go. There's that canop canopic hoarder that I couldn't draw last game, but I was looking for. Go ahead and take that out. Ooh, I'm going to go ahead and grab... This bronze servant as well, in case he plays any type of relics. Got another zombie. We, well, actually, let's see. Let's go zombie, and then let's go living container. Take that zombie away, and when it comes back, it'll be a 3-3. Three, three. He's definitely going to want to take out the necromancer. So you know he's going to either use a spell or swing at that with the hog. Yeah, this game looking pretty much over. Let me see what I have in here that's afterlife. So I've got both encumbered looters. So just I could draw two two cards off of playing the hoarder. That's this, well. That's not going to be in the void when it dies because it's soulless. Goblin Rally Boss. 
Yeah, that's got to die. After after this creature attacks, summon a random one, one mana war creature. No, 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 no. I don't think so. We're not playing that game. What afterlife does it have? Hmm. Again, I'm just going to throw some crazy stuff out here. Try to bait out. Yeah, let's go this route here. Try to bait out the uh, Rapture Dance. Still, still controlling the board. I mean, this thing's strong, and it's going to summon a... A one mana creature, a war creature this turn, but I'm going to try to take it out. This next turn should be able to. And then we have the Tomb Priest. So. Get a Anubian back. I think the strongest right now at the moment. Yeah, that's just one of the two manas. Which possibly, if I play the Hoarder, and then the next turn play the Tomb Priest, I could get the Hoarder back. Hmm. Ooh, that was a good one man of war creature for that thing to summon. Alright, get my health, some health back there from the attack on the zombie. I'm going to get a, some type of Anum or Rune or something on this next turn got the bronze servant could take some of that off that relic hmm, yeah let's go ahead and throw this wanna get rid of that thing doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to this turn unfortunately unless hmm, Let's let's throw this priestess down and do a untold greed. See if we can reach and get something. Oh, that was that was lucky. Yeah, that was lucky. We can take that out now easily. That's gone. It's a bit of a gamble, but I took it. And it paid off. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and play that. It's hidden. and see what he tries to do now that's a much better position I mean he's gonna draw a card from that that's fine but at least there's not a five attack creature on the board or six attack whatever that was this little bit of damage if I can ever get that rapture dance out of his hand and I can soak back pretty easily with the obelisk Playing a lot of low mana creatures. I mean, it got this one from the vo uh, from the sanctum. Yeah, but there's another one, another. He's gonna hide that one. That's interesting. Actually, Neferu would be clutch right now. Nope, didn't get her. So what should we do? Let's see. Let's see if we can reach and draw something possibly that can help us. Eh. Not so much there. Let's see what we got in here for the hoarder. Could get another possible rune or something. Actually, I could trigger that. Let's do the five mana. Yeah, I can play one of the Nubians and trigger that as well as draw another card hmm yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do this ought to give me a nice hand here 
a little bit better of a hand. We'll go ahead and take this out. That can come in handy. But I really like to see Neferu for the board wipe. He went right after the hoarder. Next he's probably going to go after this. Probably... I don't know how he's going to do it. It's a pretty close game at the moment. Let's see, I'm 12 cards through. Or 12 cards left, so Neferu is in there somewhere. She's got to be getting close. But I need a strong catch up turn. I may have to play the. Oh gosh. Oh, there goes the Cursed Obelisk. As I was about to say, I may have to play. He's probably going to take it. Yep. I figured. Uh, that, that may cost me the game. I said, unless I can get Nefru and wipe his board. I really... Oh, there she is. Ah, you, Nefru, you know, you're just, you're just the best. And then we might as well... Uh, Drop him, and that way Neferu will get buffed, I believe, from that afterlife. Make her a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, very nice. Now we got back control of the board. We can try to finish this off. I'm going to need to quick, though. Now, one thing I can do next turn, if he doesn't kill Neferu this turn, which, if he kills Neferu, she will come back to my hand, because I'm under... 15 health, which he probably doesn't want to see, but I could live in container Nefru off the board, and when she comes back, she'll do 3 damage, and I believe she would be a, I don't think she'll get that buff there, but she'd be a 7-5, no, he's going to try to kill her, ooh, interesting. Is he going to take, wow. I don't know about that. I don't know about that idea at all. It seemed like a crazy idea. So I could throw her. I think he wants me to because I could not. I wouldn't be able to kill this. What is he trying to do here? Or is he just tricking me? I'm gonna reach. See if I can't find something. Mm, that ain't gonna help either. Uh, is he gonna do it? Let's see. If I throw it, I'll be at eight. He'll have four or five. Yeah, only three damage. He definitely can probably buff to get that. So. Instead, I'm going to do this right here. And then try to get some more health back. Nice. So now I've got seven. And if he doesn't have enough to kill me, he's going to have to take these out. It's a close game. I probably shouldn't have uh, been so scared to play the obelisk. That was probably the issue. Because he does have that. I gotta keep that in mind if he plays that. Yeah, so he's trying to take out the creatures. He didn't do any damage to me this turn besides this one poke he's gonna do. Which is gonna lose his relic. Very nice. Hmm, but what to do here? Let's go with the Tomb Priest. See what I get. Oh yeah, he's got after, it's Afterlife, that's right. Yeah, let's go with him and the Bronze Servant. Because that's six damage if he doesn't kill them. 
And that's three more with Neferu. So he's, if he doesn't forget that, then he should, unless he can kill me. No. Yeah, he's, he's realizing he's playing it smart. Nice. Probably going to hide that again. Nope. He did not hide that again, and he did not buff that. That may cause him to lose this game. Yeah, I'm going to drop Neferu now because I can get rid of everything. Oh, beautiful. Or not get rid of Neferu, but drop Neferu now. There we go. Very nice. So we got back control of the board again. No worries about a hidden attack. Now, if Neferu die, well, no, at this point, Neferu will keep going back into my hand. But if I got over 15 health somehow, I could pull her back to my hand from the Tome Priest. So that's a pretty nice combo as well. Oh, they don't really seem to be doing much. I don't know. I'm winning anyway, it doesn't matter. I don't really care what he takes here. It's not anything. I don't think he has any Anubians in his void, so none of those are going to help him. Nope. And Blight Bomb, I mean, that's, yeah, took a spear. Okay, we got another hidden creature. Unfortunately, oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful, okay. We'll just put that guy to sleep. We'll obliterate this because I'm not going to do any damage to myself. Get that out of here. We'll put our own wet relic on and the tomb priest down. That thing can't attack this turn. So he's going to have to get rid of both of these. There's one. Let's see what comes back to my hand. Nice. Oh yeah, the bronze servant. I forgot that was in there. Still though, getting another three, three, three back in the hands, nice. One thing about this deck, it doesn't seem to run out of cards. Oh, and there's the scoop, beautiful. So far, this deck working out pretty nice. Here we go, getting that legendary pack. Let's see what we got here. And back over shielded too. That's good. So it's so uh, nauseating being right there under shielded and not winning. Don't want to fall out of the ranks. I got another laid on. That's okay. They're pretty low supply. It's not. The greatest legendary in the core set, but it is a strong gate mana, especially if you can run a nice dragon deck, but I'll take it. Let's actually check real quick and see what the price of Laydown is going for. Pull up Token Trove, which by the way, if you're not using Token Trove, get in the description and find the link for it and start using it because it is very nice so laid on he's going for a dollar sixty eight so that's not bad about almost two thousand in supply dollar fifty in gods two eighty three in imx of course it takes two of the core cards the gray cards to make one of these Let's check and see if i have i don't think i have Two Ladones. I might. But I don't think I do. 
Well, I have a I have a minted version, but I'm I had a bun I had a couple of them and I minted up the ones that were extras and sold. But I did keep one, just because I really want a good dragon deck. I've just not been able to figure it out yet. So that's the wrong thing. Sort by rarity. Where are you at? There you go. Yep, yeah, I do have enough to mint a Ladon. So it's a dollar, or not a dollar, but 1.5 gods tokens. So that's about 60 cents. Yeah, we might as well go ahead and fuse them up. And if you've never forged before, you're going to have to follow all of these prompts. Oh, that's weird. I guess because I'm not signed in. Just MetaMask logged in. So if you do get an error like that on the forge, it's like it says, just go back here to history and click on it. And you can see that Ladon right there, I was trying to fuse it. We just hit retry and it should pop us back up. It should work this time. Yeah, and then you just follow every single prompt. Always follow your prompts when minting NFTs. Yep, so he's being minted nice. So I actually did not have a second one till then, so that's pretty cool. So I mean, not you know, not a not a ton of profit that I can make off of it, but I don't plan on selling it right now anyway. I'll hold I'll hold two of them. Maybe I can get three more and get a shadow one. That'd be pretty cool. Looks like there's no gold ones at all. And then you got one diamond one so that's up there for three thousand. Somebody bought one July seventh for three hundred though. That's pretty good. Nice little sell, so yeah, I'll just keep stacking these. Still got two, so need three more for a shadow. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright. So so far going two and zero oh since the start of this video. 9 of 15 now I really like to get to it's 12 wins which means that I have to win the next three games in a row but that would get me where I'd be getting six packs even though starting off in midnight shadow uh, wouldn't be too bad I always like to at least get six packs per weekend so that's the goal as long as I hit 11 uh, I think that as long as I hit 11, I'll be all right with that because I'll still be getting two epic core packs and then one Mortal Judgment rare packs, which I've been having pretty good pulls on the Mortal Judgment rare packs for the higher qualities. A couple of golds, a couple of shadows. No diamonds yet out on Mortal Judgment, but got to get back in those higher ranks so I can get that bigger prize pool next weekend. Then just stay in there and stop dropping. <laughs> All right, so let's finish it off strong. I'm winning with this deck, so I'm going to keep playing it. All right, going against a war god here. All these war gods have been tough with all these relics lately. Sometimes they just they just get a relic up to 30 in one turn and there's nothing you can do about it. Even if you are running plenty of relic removal, I actually like this hand. I'm going to start with this hand. And I'm going first. Oh, yeah. I'm going to come out firing on him. He may have some blitz, but who cares? I got the reach into the black to get these Anubians back. Yeah, he popped a mana just to get that out there to kill that. Beautiful. Go ahead and eat her. Get us a nice little two damage in there to start with.
Hmm. Yeah, I need to go ahead and do this because I got to weaken this thunder collar and get them off the board the next turn if I can. Don't want to leave thunder collars on the board ever. They can get so out of hand so quickly. Especially if somebody's playing another round. Oh, well, why, <laughs> right as I said it. That right there is why. <laughs> Alright, I got problems now. I gotta deal with that somehow. Let's just try to draw. No, nope, no board wipe there. So we'll put down the encumbered looter. We're gonna take a lot of damage this turn. Unless he has. Well, yeah, he's probably gonna go straight for me. I don't think he would kill this. No. no that thing's getting out of hand. I gotta get rid of it. Okay. We can work with that. And keep. Actually, I actually need to kill it <laughs> to make him. Let me see if I can draw. That's still not what I need, but that may help some. Go ahead and take that out. I don't know though. He's got 9, 11. I think he's got me. Those Thunder Collars on 3 mana into another round on 4 mana. And then into the Grand Hall so he could get that extra buff and leech. It's rough. Oh, he just put it to sleep. That was not smart of him. Okay, I can buy some time because I can put it to sleep to get, again with the cano Canopic Hoarder. I want to call him a Canopy Hoarder instead of a Canopic Hoarder. It's a hard word to say. Canopic. 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 Alright. So that's definitely what we got to do. We don't have a choice. Got to buy that time. And we will get a card draw out of it, so that's not too bad. Mm, still not get what I'm looking for. Trying to reach. The only thing I can take this out with is Thunder Collar at, this, at the moment. Is the two mana... Two mana Nubian Blight Bomb. Well, that's not good. I was wondering when I was going to see more of this card, this Raider Captain. It's a pretty strong Viking. I mean, being able to give Blitz and protect it to a friendly creature is just super strong. Luckily, we can take that out. I may have to reach again. Go ahead and take that out too. If I reach, I'm gonna take two damage, and then that would see would still be able to kill me with this. Even if I move this, I think he's got me no matter what I do. I'm gonna reach anyway. Let's just see. Nope, that's not what I needed. So this game is pretty much over with. I go ahead and let him finish me off. Yeah, I'm still a thunder collar on the board. Just could not get it off. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> All right, got to get the next two wins in. So, thinking if I should run it again, or if I should try one of the other decks. You know what? Let's just try one of the other decks for the fun of it. Let's go with the magic deck. I'm, I'm interested in this deck. It's uh, 
you know, got some normal magic stuff in there. And I am going against another war deck, so I'm kind of glad I'm playing magic this time. Uh, we'll hold off on that. That metamorphosis may come in handy. Yeah, let's keep that hand. Because I can play... On four mana, I could play the frenetic and then metamorphosis that into a four mana. Get a card draw and everything out of it. Uh, we'll just pass it back. I'm not going to waste any mana yet. Getting that Corrales Rune Moth. So he's not playing really anything either. I'm just going to pop a mana. Yeah, and drop her as a little distraction, a little front line, a little ward. If he has a relic deck, he's going to have to deal with that. More than likely, he's got some blitz. Yeah, there's the blitz. But he can't kill it with none of the one mana war spells right now that are wiping boards. But what I wanted to do... I'm going to be able to do so. Ooh, got that Pyre Shaper too. That's nice. Okay. So our best choice is the 4-5. Although I could have, I guess I could have chosen the boat for the, the Viking ship for the Blitz, but that's all right. Oh, I forgot to attack with her. That'd have been one damage. Oh well. I don't think it's gonna matter. See if he can take this thing out or not. So if I get a oh yeah. There's one of those one mana spells. That's not a one of the ones I was really talking about, but it's a strong enough one to do what he needed. Alright, that's nice. That'll come in handy, slow him down some. We'll draw another card. See if we can get. Very nice. Warp Engineer. Don't want to pop that last man. I think I do. Because I want to play as Warp Engineer and bring down the Shape Blast. In case he plays something big, I can take it out. Or if he fills his fills this board, I've got both the Pyre Shaper and the Shape Blast. A little blitz there, nice. Oh, he just went and take that out. Left this one alive. That's interesting. So do I want to take? I really don't want to use. Yeah, I don't think I need to use anything drastic here. Oh, uh, yeah, let's take Kim out just because that armor. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with the Rune Moth. He'll have to think about it. If he wants to leave that alive or not, very nice getting a Rune of Life. That'll come in handy. Soak back up some of that damage. Ah, more blitz, double strike blitz. He's going to kill the rune moth, but that's all right. Got to get something going here, though. I think I just pyre shaper on this turn. Clear that board. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Ooh. Hmm, well, he doesn't have any favors, so I'm going to wait before I pick something out of there. I don't know what I want to do yet. Yeah, we'll go 
go ahead and take that out. No reason to even deal with that. I'm going to grab that as well. Let's just go with that. This, if he doesn't have any blitz, he's going to be in a bad spot. Yeah, there you go. He had to waste all his mana just to get rid of that. That's what I wanted to see. Had to use a had to use a nice spell. We got ooh ooh yeah. We're getting nasty now. Let's go ahead and hit him some with hit him with some damage. Get this game a little bit back closer. And then next turn we know we got that. Oh, I forgot what that card is, but the Delve Four Mana Magic card. We're starting to pull back here a little bit. That's uh, yeah. Give it all that armor. That's actually only. Good. That's not going to kill it. Got her next too. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go ahead and not the greatest, but. Well, we can use that. If I can draw a good, strong creature here. Oh, very nice. Um, Do I want to? Yeah, let's go ahead and actually use Metamorphosis on him. Because instead, he's... Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. What an amazing draw there. And I'm going to go ahead and use this. Get some of my health back. Actually, I'll wait. I'm going to go ahead and pop him in the face again. That metamorphosis is coming in very nice. He's going to have to kill that. If he does not kill that, it's going to get out of hand. Oh, wow. Can I kill this though? That's the question. It's got seven. Let's see, what is. After I play a card with Echo. Oh, it's with Echo. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Yeah. So I do five there. That would do three. I still don't know if that's enough to take it out. Let me get a little. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop this because I, I need to, well, that's not going to help either. We'll go ahead and do this. Yeah, let's just try to get some health back. Oh, come on, what are you doing? Go ahead and get all the health back we can. And then actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's unlock that two mana. Or unlock a mana. He still might get me if he's got another round or a big relic. He, he can get me here. Some of them have another chance, but... Can get rid of the front line. Yeah, let's do that. Each creature with front line. Create a base copy of the lowest spell in my hand. Let's go ahead and take that out. Man, there's no way I can kill that thing. Hmm. There's no way I can heal enough either. I probably should have just tried to kill it, but let's just let's just uh I don't even know. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose this. Matter of fact, I know I'm gonna lose this. Maybe I can freak him out with Palace. Maybe he'll <laughs> Maybe I'll make a mistake. Probably not. He's got the two damage there as well. Alright, so the magic deck kept the game close, just couldn't really get going.
Another creature. You can't leave creatures on the board anymore. They get buffed so easily. So, for the last match, I'm going to go in with this wild deck. Actually, uh, you know what? I'm going to go back to the Anubian deck. I like this Anubian deck. It showed a lot of potential. And actually, I'm going to change and take the Tome Priest out and put something a little beefier in for Anubians. Mm. That wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm actually going to put a Possessed Acolyte in because that Afterlife may come in handy to get a, a pretty beefy creature. And I may end up putting two. I was kind of thinking about that under 15 health. If your opponent kills it or you can kill it, you'll summon a 6-6 six, six Nether Beast or whatever it is. Another war deck. Three in a row. Alright, Mr. War Deck. We're going to make this a lot more difficult for you. That's cool. We'll start off with Priestess. See if he wastes anything to kill her. Doesn't... Maybe. Nope. He doesn't have the Blitz for it. Another priestess. Might as well though go ahead and get the Necro Scepter going. I'm gonna go straight for him so we can frenzy. Get another zombie out. Nice. He's apparently running a decent amount of relic removal. This that was his only card, but it'd be kinda Low odds to draw that. I'm actually fine with where I'm at here. Um, actually, I should take some board out. Yeah, let's take some of the board out. Let's take this out. Because that is an Anubian, so that's going to do some more damage there with the Priestess. And then we'll get some health back. Yeah, I like that. That's a good start. Much better start again with this deck. And it may be because I just played Anubian and Zombie Death so much. I just play better with this because I know the card so well. I don't know. But Death is just so fun to play. There's so many different shenanigans to do. And all the best board wipe. In my opinion, Neferu alone is the best board wipe. So we could pull two of those back if we wanted. Let's see. Let's just do a brimstone. See what else I draw here. Nice. Living container. Don't think there's any way he could get the bronze servant back. I could obliterate it. Ah, yeah, let's just go ahead and pull him back out. Make him have to deal with him. He's only got two cards left. Well, there's another two damage to him for that. Hog getting that first priestess. What you thinking about, brainchild? Oh, wow, another one. Oh, no, you got that one out of the sanctum. I didn't see that. I didn't see that over there in the sanctum. Not that it matters. I don't have a relic. If he wants to put down another Nubian, go ahead. Ooh boy, that's a lot of creatures. Uh, I can take out the pig pretty easily. Oh, there we go. Want to take out the pig though? 
Now let's take her out. She's a little bit more sketchy, and then we'll throw out the encumbered looter. Maybe I can keep card advantage on him. I need to start getting some more board wipe or something. I gotta get control of this board. Oh, that's nice. It's gonna let me draw a card. That's a mistake. Okay, got its own priest. <laughs> Even though I cut it down to one of. Still, oh, there we go. There we go. I don't know if I can kill it. Oh, yeah, I can kill it. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the Gleam Reaver and then we will pop the living container and put all of them to sleepies. Go sleepies now and then do that there. I could pull that right back in, I guess. What did I kill with that? I forgot what I killed. Nah, I'm gonna go ahead and Beautiful. I'm glad I did that. Take that hog off the board. I don't want him having too many creatures. Neferu could save the day, certainly right now. Nice. They're all gonna get protected. Ugh. That sucks. But I can't eat the I can't eat the five one with my power. Oh, and a blight bomb. Alright, never mind. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Let's eat that one. Let's blight bomb that one. Might as well pull the Nubians back out just to make them think hard. Oh, actually, we can get some nice damage in here. Let's take. Beautiful. And then I'm going to go ahead and swing up here. Because if he kills this. His creature is going to go to sleep again. So he has a decision to make here. But this is pretty much over with it looks like. So I might have should have just played the <laughs> Nubian deck all the way out. Oh well. I'll get my magic shenanigans back one day. But death is definitely, uh, probably will always be my favorite. Yes, he's got a lot to think about right now. So that's two damage to him. See what he does. You gonna take out the four four? Nope, taking out the another the other priestess. Little healing there. Okay, let's see what you're trying to do. And then a blade of sticks. And another Viking. Alright. So, I could do seven. That would not be enough to kill him. He's got. I don't really want to put his stuff to sleep either though. I can take out most of his stuff. Yeah, and then we'll get this bull for the front line. And we should get a scoop unless he plays it out. Maybe he plays it out, maybe he doesn't. Well, actually, he could have a soul survivor, but that would still, but I, if he did soul survivor, it'd put his creature to sleep. Oof. I was wondering if he was going to do that or not, and then now his creature's asleep, so that's the game. Rune of Fire is going to end it here. Very nice, so I, this, uh, maybe the deck guy work on and try to get into mythic with before next weekend at least back in the diamond bam so let me know what you guys think about this deck and 
you think this has got uh, the potential that I think it has?